East Timor, or Timor-Leste, is a nation that occupies the eastern side of the island of Timor, one among thousands in the Indonesian archipelago. East Timor is one of the newest countries in the world, having only recently gained its independence in 2002 from Indonesia, which still controls the western half of the island today. The fact that East Timor only controls half of the small island of Timor, or is even independent at all, sparks the question, why does East Timor exist? Human presence on the island of Timor dates back 40,000 years. The island experienced several waves of migration in its history. Melanesians arrived on the island roughly 5,000 years ago, with proto Malays from South China and Northern Indochina arriving 500 years later. These separate migrations contributed to the great diversity of different languages and cultures on the island, with the eastern half of the island alone boasting upwards of 32 distinct languages and dialects. The various chiefdoms of Timor were engaged in Southeast Asian trade networks, with the island being an exporter of slaves, honey, wax, and most importantly, sandalwood. It was fragrant sandalwood that first attracted European explorers to the island in the early 16th century, most importantly, the Portuguese. The Portuguese relationship with Timor was largely relegated to trading until the late 16th and early 17th centuries, when loss of territories in the Indonesian archipelago during war with the Netherlands prompted the Portuguese to strengthen their position on the island. Portuguese influence on Timor was further reduced after the Dutch seizure of Kupang on the west of the island in 1653. The Portuguese consolidated in Lifau, and in 1769, the Portuguese relocated their colonial government to Dili. For most of the 19th century, Timor was neglected by both the Netherlands and Portugal, with little presence outside of Kupang and Dili. Sandalwood had been over-exploited and became nearly extinct, diminishing the value of the island for both powers. A Dutch sea captain referred to East Timor as a land forgotten by God and man. Dutch West Timor was little better, having been described as the most neglected part of the Netherlands Indies. After two treaties in 1859 and 1893, the border between Dutch West and Portuguese East Timor was formalized, finally being resolved after 1914. After democracy was restored in Portugal after the Carnation Revolution of 1974, the new Portuguese government began to withdraw from its overseas colonies. Political parties were soon legalized in East Timor, where three major ones emerged. The left-wing Revolutionary Front of Independent East Timor, or Fredolin, supported immediate independence from Portugal. The more conservative Timorese Democratic Union, or UDT, supported a gradual approach to independence. Significant, but unpopular, was the Timorese Popular Democratic Association, or Apodeti, which advocated for integration with Indonesia. Neighboring Indonesia declared Fredolin to be a communist organization, leading the UDT to stage an anti-communist coup in August of 1975. Fredolin then declared East Timor independent, and Indonesia invaded East Timor soon after, beginning an occupation marked by guerrilla warfare, famine, and disease that cost the lives of as many as 250,000 Timorese, roughly one-third of the population. During the Indonesian occupation, Timorese national identity was strengthened. Formerly associated with Portuguese colonial rule, the Timorese soon adopted the Catholic Church as a means of resistance to Indonesian occupation and as an essential aspect of Timorese identity. Within 10 years, the percentage of Catholics in East Timor rose from 20% to 95%, and today is nearly 98%, making it the second most Catholic country in the world after only the Vatican. The Portuguese language was also embraced as a lingua franca by the Timorese, alongside Tetum. In 1999, after 24 years of brutal occupation, a new Indonesian president authorized a referendum in East Timor, in which 78% of Timorese voted for independence. However, violence from anti-independence militias prompted UN intervention in East Timor until the country became formally independent as Timor-Leste on May 20, 2002 thus ending a centuries-long struggle for self-determination. East Timor endured much hardship in its history. 
The perseverance of the Timorese in spite of foreign occupation and suppression of their unique identity is remarkable. East Timor's fascinating blend of different cultures, languages, and ethnicities, united by common Catholic and Lusophone heritage, strengthened after decades of brutal occupation, make it clear that East Timor has earned the right to decide its own future. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to support more videos like this. See you in the next video.